Hello, this is Kimberly McLaughlin, and we're going to look at uh, an overview of the FY24 Campus Space Survey. I'm just going to go over quickly um, the importance of our space data and what the survey process is. I went over this a little bit in um, a space data, space management overview, but basically the information in Archibus is the record of source for UIUC. All of that data is used to calculate different different numbers for a variety of different reporting and, and a variety of different purposes. One of the main ones being the IVCB, which is our billing model for how units are charged for space on campus. Uh, we also generate reports related to state safety code com and code compliance. We have the uh, FAM Facilities Access Maps website, which we in which we worked with DRES in order to get that site uh, completed and done. That was uh, replaced our former ADA website. We do some reporting to risk management insurance, as well as division of responsibility, who maintains what on, on in the buildings and on campus. And there's also some local st state and other federal reporting that is based on the numbers and the data that we have in Archibus. So for that reason, we need to get an accurate snapshot in time of what the space looks like. We do that through the campus space survey. Previously, it was done every other year, half the campus one year, half the campus the other year. Now that we have uh, the survey being done in Archibus since 2018, that is now changed and we are doing a full campus survey every year. The only exception in this year is one of those exceptions is that if there's a FNA survey, which happens once every four years, then if you participate in the FNA survey, you do not have to participate in the, the regular campus space survey. So since we just had a, a FNA survey at the beginning of 2024, we will not be having that survey or you do not have to participate in it again. I do want to clarify, you may have, if you oversee many departments, some of your de departments may have participated in the FNA survey and some didn't. Those that didn't will be included in the campus space survey. So uh, it's really quite a simple process. You get an online or obtain a Web Central user account. There is a form online that you can download and fill out. In order to participate in the survey, you must have a, a department space role or a campus space role. Those are both editing roles. So make sure that you have those if you're going to be participating in the survey. There is a video out on user roles if you want to look at that to help you get your account set up. The next thing that I suggest doing is making your space changes. We do request that you make space changes throughout the year. However, I know a lot of people don't. It's you know just another thing to do. A lot of people don't have many changes, which is great. But if you do have any changes, it's nice to get those done even before the survey starts. Like I said, you can do it anytime throughout the year. Please see the, the video on making space changes. If you have any space space to relinquish, you'll want to do that through the survey. There's a couple of things you need to do. You'll need to submit an online form that goes to the provost office, and you'll need to indicate in the survey that you've relinquished the space, and you'll need to put that on the certification form as well. I will have a video on relinquishing space. It'll go over each one of those if that is something you have to do. So after you've made your space changes and you're going to, you may or may not be relinquishing space, all then you need to do is log into Web Central and go to your space survey and go to verify space. Then you can, that's where you know, notify if anything's been relinquished, if anything has been everything that's been verified. Once everything turns green, as I'll show you in your survey, then you are almost done. There is a certification form that needs to be filled out. So we'll have you fill out that, that certification form and email it to us. Once we receive that certification and verify that you have done everything that you need to do, as far as we could see, you'll get a completion email. And we'll look at that email as well in another video. The purpose of that is to just let you know that you know, we're kind of communicating back and forth at this point. Point. We may reach out to you if we've got questions about the space, but for the most part, you have completed your portion of the survey. Some important information about this, and some of it I've, I've already gone over. If you did per participate in the FNA survey earlier this year, you do not have to participate in the campus space survey for FY24. You are done unless you have other departments that you manage that that are included in the survey. Not technically. 
low AS technically, relinquishing space means that it's no longer being used by the college and it's being added back to the campus inventory for availability for other colleges. So the reason that that's important be is because if you have space that you're getting rid of or not using within a college and somebody else within that college wants to use it, we do not need to relinquish that space. That can go, that can be done, something that's done internally within the college. But if it's going to a different college, then we need to get the provost office involved and more than likely they'll, they'll approve that change and we can go ahead and make it during the survey period or a, there's a reassignment that's been in place that we just haven't received yet. So um, if you are really relinquishing space again from from your college to be available for another college, please use the form, indicate on the survey and indicate in the survey that you are relinquishing space. When you're making the space changes in Web Central, please make adjustments to the current data. Do not delete existing information. Um, we only want you to add new records if you're sharing or splitting space. This because our data is so closely tied to our AutoCAD drawings and a bunch of other information, we just want to keep the changes as clean as possible. So changing an actual record that is there is a lot better than deleting it just to add a new one where you're just changing some information in it. In the survey portion, there's a comments and notes field. Those are not monitored by us. Um, a lot of people put inf information they just want to remember in there. That's fine, but it's not a way to communicate with with me as far as the survey goes. For floor plan updates, please use for uh, request a floor plan update in Web Central. And for space changes, you can make those yourself in Web Central. For anything else, um, go ahead and email us at FER. And then as always, please be sure to email the certification form to notify us that you've been that you've completed. There's a lot of departments in this and I it's a lot of extra work to chase down everybody who, even though they've completed it in Web Central, they just haven't sent the survey, the certification form in. So I appreciate if you can remember that. When you're done with your survey, um, that is it. There are more videos available for specific needs. If you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks again. Bye.